Mr. Zhao, what would you say is ITU's mandate or role regarding ICTs and climate change? Yeah, ICT is uh, our mandate. Climate seems to be not our mandate. But uh, if you look at uh, ITU's uh, history, you will find that uh, from very early uh, in its history, ITU already put the climate change uh, as one of its major tasks. For example, in our uh, radio communication uh, conferences, even from the first one, we already put uh, uh, climate change as one of uh, important topics to assign uh, frequencies to help uh, the world to monitoring the climate change. And later in 1994, I think, that uh, in our Kyoto conference, uh, ITU Supplement Potential Conference, we also adopted a resolution to use ICT to protect our environment. After Mr. Ban ki uh, launched this uh, huge project of climate change, uh, ITU, as one of UN family members, surely you know, like to take its part so that uh, in our uh, normal work, like uh, sanitation work, uh, like uh, uh, development uh, work, you know, we uh, highlight uh, climate change, emergency communication, all this as uh, so one of uh, our you know, normal tasks now. Uh, you might have noted that recently the ITU standardization sector high uh, speed up the uh, standardization work on the uh, energy saving technologies, low power uh, consuming technologies. And a very recent uh, example is uh, they uh, adopted a new recommendation to have a universal charge uh, standards. And this is an enormous. Uh, uh, you know, economical consequences that uh, you know the worldwide uh, used um, you know mobile te terminology uh, terminals cannot uh, use uh, common uh, charges, so that uh, you don't need to worry about uh, new terminals you bought from uh, magazine and uh, the shop. Uh, you can use. Uh, you know, the common chargers, you don't need to, to buy chargers for each new terminal. Uh, that is, uh, you know, very, very big uh, uh, technology uh, advance. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you also noted that uh, in our uh, collective work to, 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 to contribute uh, to the climate change, uh, you, s you noted that, uh, you know, IT is actively uh, participating many conferences, uh, seminars, workshops uh, organized by UN and by the others. And ITU itself also organizes these kind of workshops and seminars. Uh, we also try our best to tell the public that uh, also ICT, te telecommunications, is not a part of a program. And we, from uh, you know, uh, industry point of view, you know, uh, ICT industry contribute about uh, two to two point five percent of uh, so-called these uh, uh, carbon emission, you know, uh, programs. Uh, but the ICT, as Secretary General Dr. Amaran Tuwe said, uh, is part of uh, solutions for all the solutions. You know, we uh, provide, produce uh, new equipment, uh, new services such as uh, teleconferencing such as, uh, you know, paperless uh, uh, communications uh, uh, that help uh, our human society to, you know, to, to reduce those unnecessary travel, for example. Uh, indirectly saved uh, problems from carbon emission you know, troubles. Uh, as far as industry itself is concerned, we also noted that uh, since ICT become more and more important in our economic life, and ICT also represent uh, many countries as the most uh, important industry there. Therefore, we noted that uh, we can do something to reduce uh, power consumption uh, from our uh, industry. You know, for example, you know, NGN, Next Generation Networks, we are, you know, save uh, more than 40 percent of uh, energy consumption compared with those traditional telecom equipment. Uh, and we also noted that uh, those big uh, uh, operators, big manufacturers, they uh, also you know, have uh, uh, their plan to uh, have green technologies. 
so that uh, they can contribute from their own industry uh, our global effort to reduce uh, uh, this uh, you know carbon emitted uh, emissions and uh, climate uh, problems climate change problems what would you say is ITU's role in the upcoming uh, conference on climate change in Copenhagen? Yeah, ITU has uh, actively participated in all preparation uh, lead to Copenhagen uh, since early you know, uh, meeting in Bali, Indonesia, and then followed by uh, the conferences in Poznan of Poland last year. Uh, ITU has been always there. Uh, and those uh, regional uh, preparation meetings, uh, global preparation meetings, including those meetings like uh, uh, preparation meetings in Bangkok uh, September this year, and uh, we will have another preparation meetings uh, in uh, Barcelona in November very soon. Uh, in addition, you know, there are all of many organizations who try to, to 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 mobilize their resources to contribute to this uh, conference. For example, uh, WMO organized a uh, climate summit uh, at the end of August, the beginning of September. IT also actively participated. And we try to uh, convince people that uh, uh, ICT is a quite important tool to help uh, the global uh, family to fight uh, uh, this uh, problem. And uh, we, we're trying our best to, to work together to, you know, to have this uh, uh, recognitions in the Copenhagen output document that uh, ICT is an uh, important tool to help our human society and global families to fight these uh, climate change problems. Thank yeah. you very much, Mr. Zhao. Yeah, all Thank right. you.